Hello every bunny! In front of us yet again, here we have a Furby. And today we're going to do a little bit of uh, non-evasive hacking. You'll notice we have a headset attached to Furby. And that's because Furby has a microphone on this side, so we want our speaker to talk to its microphone. And on this side we have an ultrasonic piezoelectric transducer. It's the thing that does all the ultrasonic communications. So we want our microphone to pick that up. Now, I found out about this project called Haxby. Um, turns out this dude went out and completely reverse engineered the audio protocol. So it turns out that it uses sort of like a, a, a four bit binary sort of deal going on, and it's audio frequency shift keyed. Okay, so he went out and made some Perl scripts and uh, created, uh, created the Haxby project and explains how the protocol specific, specifically works, okay? So we have a central carrier of 17.5 kilohertz, right? That's, that's why you constantly get a migraine all the time. And each one of the channels, right, will be a, basically a, one of the bits, okay? So technically we have four bits. And each one of those are going to be separated by 557 hertz. So what I did was to make sure that uh, I could actually my microphone on this crappy headset can go ahead and pick up uh, the ultrasonic. Uh, what I did was I opened up Audacity and I recorded some some Furby action. Okay, and if we zoom in, we'll notice that we have a little blip here. All right, and these are the uh, ultrasonic pings of "Hey, I'm bored. I want to do something." And if we go to, now I should have recorded this in mono, not stereo, but if we go and look at this in the spectrogram, boom, we can immediately see the packets of data. This is specifically what's going on with the Haxby project, just reverse engineering how the uh, audio frequency shift keyed binary packets of data worked, and then creating a Perl script. Now, I don't know Perl at all. So luckily I got onto the Discord chat and Corosa was able to help me get it working. Just turned out I needed to install two packages in Perl, a couple of commands, and we got it working. So let's go to the picture in picture. And I have uh, the Haxby scripts running. And I also have a bunch of commands I'd like to uh, show you. So uh, in, in in Haxby itself, uh, you know, if if you poke around the readmes and all that good stuffs, let's wake up the Ferb. Come on, Ferb, wake it up. If you poke around the documentation, you'll see that there there is a full command list set. Good morning to you too, Ferb. Would you like something to eat? Oh, you like that, Ferby? How about this? Oh, I don't think he got that command. Let's see, 351 again. Right, 351. 352. Well, that's that seemed like something tasty. Three fifty four. Three fifty five. See now, here's the thing. Whenever he's transmitting via his speaker, he cannot also receive a command. So you got to be very careful when you're when you're when you're sending commands. So here, let's have something hot. Command four ten. Uh, a little too spicy for you, huh? Alright, how about something gross? I don't think Ferb got the command. Try 418. <laughs> no, you didn't like that, huh? <laughs> okay. Now, there are also other things you can do, such as events in the 700 range. Basically saying, I'm bored. Burp. Or sleepy. Uh, 701 should be chew. Wow. 
No, I'm sorry. 701 said should be burp. Okay, okay. Calm down, per calm down, verb 701. Huh. There we go. Bur burp. 701, burp. C dude, calm down. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Burp again. So we have 702 is Choo Choo. 702. <laughs> okay, 704. It's a fart. <laughs> Let's see. What happens if we do to 710? 710 should be... He's happy. Will you shut up for a second? Okay, seven, tw uh, 720 is something that they don't like. Hey, can I tell they're watching? Oh, Taki, do? Oh, Should be a yawn? Or a s sneeze? Yep, that's the sneeze. Seven one seven's a sneeze. <laughs> and there's also a long list in the eight hundreds of doing stuff: laughing, burping, sleeping, and also triggering phrases like that. Okay, shut up a second. All right, seven. All right, eight fifty-one. These should make verb talk. Let's go back to eight fifty. Wow, Yep, that one worked. Eight fifty-one. Sorry. Fifty-two. Gur Coco. Come on, eight fifty-three. Yep, something they dislike. Eight fifty-three is a dislike. Here, let's get him the purr at, at 866. Purr for me. Should put you to sleep. <laughs> yes, I will come up with the burp command. Okay. Um, that is one half of the Haxby project. There's also a receive side, but I'm not going to cover that here because it's a little difficult when trying to do this and having a Furby chattering in your head the entire time. So. <laughs> you could potentially script all kinds of fun things with Furby simply based off of um, the command list that is inside of Haxby. There is, there is an extensively long list of animations, actions, and intercommunications between the 
individual Furby or multiple Furbies. I mean, hell, wouldn't it be kind of cool to have like a Furby emulator or a Furbish translator? And I don't mean this furb Furbish, but the ultrasonic Furbish. Okay, until next time. <laughs> Cheers, beers, and bunny ears.